2020 was a year that tested us in ways that we've never been tested before. It was also the United Nations 75th anniversary and to mark the occasion we sent out an invitation to the world. Tell us your hopes and fears, we said, and tell us how we can work better to get towards the world we all want. Over 1.5 million of you replied, from every single country in the world. And regardless of where we live, or the pressures and challenges we face, no matter how rich or poor, woman or man, your message has confirmed what we have long held to be true. That there is much more that unites us than divides us. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the need for better access to basic services. Half a million called for better access to healthcare services, with 300,000 more urging better access to education. Across the world you spoke of great concerns about levels of poverty, inequality and conflict. Many of you worry about risks arising from new technologies. And you demanded greater respect for human rights and more employment opportunities. Climate change and the destruction of our natural environment was the greatest concern of all. But there is hope, and it lies with youth. More than half of the people who responded were young people. And with more investment in youth and greater opportunities to work together and across boundaries, we can build a more sustainable world for all. 86% of you said that international cooperation is vital in shaping the future we want and need. We gathered your responses and presented them to world leaders at the 75th United Nations General Assembly on September 21st. And they unanimously agreed with you. Now is the time for action. The good news is that we have the tools to achieve the sustainable future we all want and need. And the sustainable development goals are our roadmap to get there. Urgent efforts are required. And that's why, in this, our birthday year, we choose action over celebration.